You know, every time I, I talk about these issues and talk about the subject of sustainable fishing, about sustainable resources, it's, it, it really seems to capture people's attention. There's definitely a, a movement and a groundswell that's happened in this country in, say, the last 10 or 12 years, where people really want to know everything about how their food is produced, and where it came from, and how it found its way to their table. And I feel very strongly that people care about the environment. They care about that we're thinking about sustainability. This is an important issue. And more and more in the last five, six years, you see that customers want to know that you're doing the right thing. Um, when it comes down to, to, to seafood, you start hearing about habitat destruction and overfishing, bycatch. And it all of a sudden makes all these decisions a little bit more simple. We used to have this mentality that we could just dump whatever we want in the ocean and we're supposed to be able to pull whatever we want at any rate and expect it to be perfect. And that's just not the way it is. I really do strongly believe it's just about educating one person at a time. It's just a matter, of, I think, of, of pointing out to people that there are problems and solutions. So I feel like my job is to try to educate consumers as much as possible. The amount of information out there as it pertains to seafood is overwhelming. There's positive, there's negative, there's misinformation, there's proper information. And we had the hardest time figuring out who was that trusted source for us. But we found that specifically Seafood Watch has made it really simple to make decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. It's nice to have a single serving, I know I'm doing the right thing. Seafood Watch has influenced an awful lot of the way I look at seafood. You know, it's, it's great because it's, it's this very simple tool. I no longer have to do a lot of research on my own. I don't have to sort of seek the consensus of a lot of people. You know, it, it's, it's drilled down into some very specific and very simple things. And it's not very hard for me to get acquainted with this. So there's this really great dialogue that's occurring right now, more so than it has, I think, ever before, and rightfully so. Every person from the chain of the fisherman to your fishmonger to the chef, there's always someone that asks that question, what can I do as an individual? And then I pull this little baby out, Seafood Watch. This app has so much information and it's always being updated. So when you go to your fishmonger or your grocery store, this is the answer. And that's what I want people to do to make a change. Just ask. Just ask. Ask for sustainable seafood. I support Seafood Watch. Please join me. I support Seafood Watch. I support Seafood Watch. Please join me. Come on. <laughs>